Oh, it's dripped into my mouth. Because I basically baked it for two hours. Look at those lips. But I'm just craving oatmeal. <sighs> Guys, you just had breakfast. I'm debating if I should drink it. So I really need to go get groceries. I just got back from a week-long trip to Bali. I did get a little groceries at the airport before we got home, but I'm just craving oatmeal because I haven't had it in a week. So I actually had an oatmeal packet that I had made for our last trip to Singapore, which is two months old. I just had chia seeds, rolled oats, some raisins, and pumpkin seeds, I believe, in there. And so I just threw that into a bowl with some water, microwaved it, and then added some super ripe banana, cashew butter, and a little maple syrup. This is dinner at nine o'clock at night. I will be so full for a long time. So as you can see, I had breakfast for dinner the night before, so I decided to make that my breakfast to start out this video. And now we are jumping to lunch the next day, and I'm making some stuffed sweet potatoes with barbecue chickpeas. So here I'm making some homemade barbecue sauce. It's super simple to make. All you need is some tomato puree, some brown sugar, soy sauce, liquid smoke, garlic and onion powder, and some salt, and I believe some apple cider vinegar. And that's all you need. You just whisk all of these ingredients until smooth and allow them to simmer until a little bit thick and you've got some barbecue sauce. I'm also draining some chickpeas and cooking some broccoli. For the chickpeas I usually just drain and rinse them, pat them dry with a towel if I feel like adding some extra effort and then I just cook them in a saute pan with some of that barbecue sauce until the sauce thickens. The sugar also will help to stick to the chickpeas until they get super thick and caramelized and I just poured these chickpeas onto my perfectly baked sweet potato, added on some chipotle mayo that I always have in my fridge, it is so good, and had some steamed broccoli on the side. If I have steamed broccoli, I often dress it up with some sauces or just salt, and it's delicious. For some drinks in the afternoon, I had some kombucha, and then I made an iced latte, I guess. I basically just added some milk to my black coffee that had gone cold. This is such a mom thing that I do every day. And I enjoyed these drinks while I did a little bit of meal prep. I had made pancakes earlier that morning for my kids, which just allowing them to cool, putting them in a container, and then I don't have to think about breakfast the rest of the week, which is so nice. Now we're moving on to dinner and I am making some curry noodles and here I am cooking some tempeh and this is mainly just for my husband and kids because I cannot have soy right now as it makes me break out and I'm kind of over adult acne so it's just a food that I'm not sure I'll ever be able to enjoy in large portions again and that is okay with me. I basically just coated the tempeh in some soy sauce and cornstarch, baked it until crispy and then while that was baking I put some spices and onion into a pan, sauteed that, added some coconut milk, vegetable broth to make a nice curried soup. Here I'm adding some frozen peas, some cut up carrots and bok choy that I had in the fridge. Basically you can use whatever veggies you like in a noodle soup or that you need to get rid of. And yeah, I just cooked up some wavy ramen noodles as my kiddos love these noodles. Added more bok choy, the leafy bits cook really quick so I always add those last. Some lime juice and you are good to go. Just put your noodles into your bowls. Pour over that sauce and those veggies and add whatever protein you want. I didn't have much protein other than the peas in this recipe, so yes, definitely finding it hard to get enough protein. The bacon noodles! Big noodles! How are you gonna eat that? Oh, I had big noodles! For a nighttime snack, because I stayed up way too late with my husband watching Alone, which we are obsessed with. If you guys watch that show, please let me know. But yes, I just had a rice cracker with some cashew butter, banana, and chocolate granola on top. The next morning, as I always start my mornings, I made some black English breakfast tea that I added some oat milk to, and I usually sip on this for an hour or two hours, depending on how early I get up, until I am hungry for breakfast. So this day, I just reheated one of those thick sheet pan pancakes that I make in a nine by 13 inch baking dish. I just reheated it, added some microwaved berries on top instead of syrup, and added some ground flaxseed and pumpkin seed. Making sheet pan pancakes is definitely my favorite mom hack. I just spent a bunch of time trying to order groceries from two different shops. I don't know if it worked, so we'll see if we have groceries for the next few days, but thankfully we still have a little bit left 
from yesterday's cooking that we can eat for lunch. And I wanted sweet potato, but we don't have enough. But thankfully, got some homemade sourdough, so definitely not mad about that. I'm just gonna put the barbecue chickpeas from yesterday on some sourdough and make a salad for some veggies, and that'll be a quick and easy lunch. I love to get veggies in with most of my lunch and dinner meals, so I just whipped up a simple salad on the side of my toasted sourdough. I put some balsamic vinegar and pumpkin seeds and craisins on it, so just super simple oil-free salad dressing. Here's my lunch. Just kind of went simple on the salad with balsamic vinegar and have a loaded slice of bread. Just went with one slice because I knew I would pile on the toppings. Feel a little bit better after a little less bread, so yum. It's a chocolate after lunch kind of day. After a sweaty afternoon workout, I had some Element, which is definitely my favorite electrolyte drink. It is so good and it makes me want to drink water. A new day, a new flavor. My legs are so crampy still from my run yesterday and then I didn't have a lot of time. Don't mind the construction, but I did a 20 minute HIIT workout, so I'm crampy. Let's try raspberry salt. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Fun way to drink a lot of water. So I make a coffee most days, but lately I just don't finish a whole cup. I guess that's a good thing. I don't feel like I need it. I just really like the flavor and I need to make some iced coffee. When I make iced coffee and make a latte, then I definitely drink all my coffee, but just plain black, just take a few sips while I'm working and stick it in the fridge and turn it into an iced coffee or a latte the next day. For dinner this day, I was trying to use up some random veggies and produce that I had in my fridge, and I decided not to follow a recipe, which is my favorite way to cook now, just trusting my instincts and my cooking skills. So I just sauteed some onion and garlic in a pot, added in the stems of some broccoli that I had and some chopped up potatoes. I added in some frozen spinach and white beans for protein. I just covered this with a bunch of water and veggie broth and salt and allowed it to simmer until the potatoes were fork tender. Oh yeah, and I added in some thyme. While the soup was simmering, I snacked on an apple, but once the potatoes had become fork tender, I transferred half of the soup into my blender. You could also use an immersion blender. And then I just blended it until smooth and also added in some cashews for extra creaminess instead of adding milk or cream or cheese. And this makes the creamiest, most decadent, comforting soup that is full of veggies and hearty carbs that will just keep you going for a long time. So I thoroughly enjoyed this soup, especially with a slice of homemade sourdough that I toasted and this was definitely enjoyed throughout the week as it made a ton of soup. I went on an after dinner walk, which is one of my favorite things to do here in Malaysia because it's not so hot, and then enjoyed some chocolate while yet again I watched alone with my husband. The next morning, yet again, started with some black English breakfast tea that I added oat milk to, and I enjoyed that while I read my Bible. And then once I got hungry, I made some oatmeal. I haven't made oatmeal on the stove in ages, and to be honest, I completely messed up the water to oatmeal ratio, added way too much water, and didn't realize it till after I had finished cooking, but I just cooked some oats in water with some berries and salt, and then added in some vanilla protein powder, which thankfully helped to thicken it up, but it was definitely more soupy than I normally would like. It was still definitely delicious, and I added some cashew butter on top, as well as some pumpkin seeds, and this was a really filling, obviously, voluminous meal. I think I have two different leftover cups of coffee combined into one with a little bit of almond milk. I'm debating if I should drink it or try to make it better. Some days it is what it is. My kids are happy we're about to head to the library. I don't have a ton of time. So we're just gonna sip on this random cup of coffee that is a mix of a few different days. Guys, you just had breakfast. It's mama's snack time. <laughs> You want a matcha ball? Can you try it? You gotta try to. What do you think of a matcha ball? The other day she didn't really like it. Is that yummy? Yummy. Yummy. So my kids had just finished their breakfast, so I am here hiding in the kitchen while I have my snack so they don't steal it. 
So I really need to go get groceries and do an epic meal prep, which will hopefully be my next video or the one before this, I'm not sure. But we do have a little bit of curry sauce and some broccoli and some tempeh. So I'm just gonna combine these two, warm it up, and then I've got some rice cooking. So instead of over noodles, we'll have it over rice just to switch it up. I really need to get some protein sources other than soy in the house so that I can eat higher protein meals. But I will put this in my husband's and my kiddos, and I'm not sure what I'll do for protein. It'll just be a low protein meal, and we will get to the store soon. A very realistic mom meal. I'm just trying to finish off leftovers. I mainly just took the veggies out of the curry Got some cold barbecue chickpeas for some protein just because I really wanted something and a really warm sticky steamed rice And this actually looks really good because I'm very hungry gonna add some black pepper and chili flakes and maybe sriracha so I recently bought some really good quality matcha and me and my husband are obsessed with our afternoon matcha lattes with homemade vanilla syrup Sometimes when all of your nut butter won't fit into your jar, you just scoop it up with some apples Yum. We stayed out way too late, 7.45. My kids are usually in bed in a little bit. So we are eating more leftovers. I need to show you my fridge. It's almost empty. Mm, it doesn't look empty, does it? But there's really just some soup. No veggies, really. So I gotta go to the store. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know we love our cold brewed coffee. It makes making coffee so much easier in the morning and makes delicious lattes. So at night I just whipped up a batch of my toddy cold brew with my son on my hip because yes, he was still fussy. And then once that was brewing, I had a stuffed date with some tea. The next morning I got up early as per usual before the sun was up and while I was waiting for my water to boil I empty my drying rack, clean the kitchen up a little bit just so that when the kids wake up and they eat their breakfast I have a cleaner space to work with. So I love doing this just multitasking when I have the time. And then when I got hungry I again made some stovetop oatmeal this time not adding too much water. I always add chia seeds and ground flax seeds to my oats and this time I decided to make some chocolate oatmeal which I sweetened with a super ripe mashed banana and then just added some cocoa powder to it to make it chocolatey. Topped it with some cashew butter as usual and some pumpkin seeds for crunch as well as cacao chips from Trader Joe's which yes I took all the way from America with me and this was delicious. Mm. I shouldn't have started recording until I was done chewing. I'm heading to the grocery store with snacks. I'm just hungry lately and I also get up early so I get hungry at 10 in the morning. I'm gonna do a massive pantry and the fridge restock and that will be in another video. I'm gonna show my whole grocery haul but just that I'd show you my snacks for the morning. Always go prepared to the grocery store or else you'll buy random stuff that you don't need. I was gonna do a massive grocery haul video but then decided against it so let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing what I buy here in Malaysia as a plant-based eater. But this was everything I got and it was so nice to have groceries on hand. And of course I was still super hungry, didn't feel like cooking after shopping a bunch. So just whipped up some yogurt with some wheat bix, granola, pumpkin seeds, and warmed up berries on top. So here I am sauteing some bok choy that we are gonna have with some red lentil curry or dal and rice, that's not exciting, that's a rice cooker. Also made some apple pie baked oatmeal for a meal prep video and some chai spice granola is in the oven. So quite a busy afternoon evening in the kitchen. Wanna say hi? Mm. Here's our dinner, red lentil curry, bok choy, and steamed rice. And how gross is that? It died while we were in Bali and it has like, I don't know, mold, spider web, something. It was so beautiful, it was a water lily. And I thought it would be the easiest one. Those guys are thriving. I don't know what it is, but whenever I make granola, I just eat a ton of it. Like I just munch on it. But then I don't want any until the box is empty. I don't think about it. I don't crave it, but something about it fresh out of the oven. I feel like I've had a whole serving's worth just for dessert. It's okay. It needs a little tweaking. It's a little dry, but I was trying not to use oil. So I might have to make one or two more batches until this is good to go. I still need chocolate though. 
Thanks to meal prep the day before, I had apple pie baked oatmeal all ready for me the next morning, which I just topped with some banana, almond butter, and pumpkin seeds. And this looks like a ton. Maybe I was super hungry. And then I had to go do some passport pictures for my daughter. We stayed at the mall so late and we were so hungry. All we had to do was warm up some lunch. I'm having potato soup that I added peas to for more protein and homemade sourdough toasted. In the afternoon, again, I had another matcha latte, which is just matcha powder, some oat milk, and some homemade vanilla syrup. I was doing some recipe testing and also going to a vegan potluck later this week, so I decided to whip up some seven layer vegan bars because I've had some coconut condensed milk in my pantry forever, so thought it would be a good time to use it up. So I just made a cookie base, topped it with the coconut condensed milk, and then added on some chopped pecans, pecans, whatever you want to call them, some dark chocolate chunks, and some coconut flakes. And this was so good, I forgot how good seven layer bars are, and they got devoured at the potluck, which I would call a success. Thanks to meal prep the day before, I just heated up some green curry, cooked some fresh rice, and had some pineapple while I was waiting for things to warm up. And then we just had the green curry with some brown rice, and this is one of our favorite meals that I make. And then we ended the night with some seven layer bars seven layer bars oh so good with some tea the next morning I am actually showing you that I have a probiotic every morning and then I whipped up my favorite baked oatmeal that is chocolatey and made with oat flour and sweetened with banana and while that was baking I swapped out my kids toys and that always feels so good let me know if you guys switch up your kids toys or cycle your toys I'd be curious to hear then I enjoyed my chocolate baked oatmeal once it was ready with some nut butter, ground flaxseed, and pumpkin seeds. My favorite workout to do when I don't have a ton of time is to walk the stairs in our apartment building. There are 25 levels, <sighs> seven more to go. and it is such a great way in about 25-30 minutes to work up a huge sweat, make my legs super sore, and to get my heart rate up. I really hope I can capture how sweaty I am. It's dripping off my chin, oh, off my forearms, and I just got so excited because I have Element and it's so good, so I'm gonna go try a new flavor. After I sweat out everything inside of me, I had some Element. This video isn't sponsored, I just really love their drinks. The people can't even see. You can't tell how sweaty I am. Oh, it's dripped into my mouth and it's going down into my eyes. All right, let's try watermelon. Another awesome flavor. For a morning snack, I had some black iced coffee with another rice cracker and nut butter. If you guys have any ideas for peanut and soy free snacks that are high in protein, please let me know. Look at those lips. Random lunch with a very hard potato because I basically baked it for two hours <laughs> now that I think about it. And green curry on the side. Just craving a Japanese sweet potato. So very lazy Saturday afternoon lunch. For dinner, I whipped up some really quick chickpea tikka masala, which if you have good garam masala, it is delicious. You just make it with coconut milk, tomato sauce, and some lemon juice and chickpeas. Serve it with rice or naan and you've got a delicious meal. The next morning, I repurposed my chocolate baked oatmeal into pancakes. I do this whenever I don't have a lot of time to let my oatmeal bake, as it usually takes about 30 minutes. And once I had my pancakes, I topped them with some warmed up frozen berries, almond butter, cacao chips, ground flaxseed, and pumpkin seeds, the usual. Chocolate is definitely my favorite way to start the day, no matter the form, and this was such a delicious breakfast. Lunch was a leftover baked potato with dal and tahini, and then for dinner I went to a potluck, and that was my week. If you guys like what I eat in a week, watch this one next, and I'll see you soon.